So now that we've talked about the macro elements, let me talk about the mobility of those throughout the plant. You might think that this seems natural, all of it goes up together. Well, not so. Some of these uh, nitri uh, nutrients are very mobile in a plant, like the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium. Some of them, not so much. And then some of them are very immobile, like calcium and boron, but they're still important, but not as important as these other ones up here. Uh, so why are we talking about that? Why is that important? Well, good old Mother Nature has figured this stuff out, and we're just uh, benefactors of it. Because if you look at this pH effect, I know, please don't get too angry or annoyed with me. pH, that's the uh, potency of the hydrogen. And look at how absorption, or how this mobility and the absorption of them all focuses right around the 6.5, 7.5. Not all of them, but most of them. This is where the most mobility is. That's where the plant can use those things. Because if your pH is too low, acidic, it can't uh, get these things and the mobility is less. If it's too high, in other words, too sweet, then you're not going to be able to get it. But right in the middle is where we are talking about. So you, we're talking about trying to get your soil somewhere between 6 and 7, 7.5 max. What's interesting is that if you're on the east coast, and I'll say east of Mississippi, we have acidic soil here. So we put lime in to sweeten the soil. But if you're on the west coast, the soil is a limestone base, and they have the opposite problem. They're too sweet over here, too far, like eight sometimes. So they have to use acidifiers to acidify their soil to get things to grow properly. Very strange, but that's kind of the way it works. But I thought if you understand this, then you'll understand why we need the compost.